Norman Powell goes off for 37 last night. And he's had a great year. It just the injury problems have been obviously the the biggest issue for him. But what's what's your read on where this goes once Van Vliet returns, uh, once everyone gets healthy? I would assume he goes back to the bench. But do you think that's a lock at this point, or or where does it go? Yeah, I, I think they like Van Vliet in that role as the starter. I, I see Norm sort of in the role that he was in to start the year as. Uh, a six-man type player, a guy that's going to come off the bench and maybe close games in some scenarios. But, I I mean, that's been a great story, as you mentioned. Like, it's really tough in the NBA once you've developed a reputation, once you're typecast as something, anything, really, that's what you become known as. And I guess the same could be said for Andrew Wiggins, just talking about it. And the Raptors have had a few examples of that over the last few years. Kyle Lowry, everybody thought he was a malcontent coach killer until all of a sudden it's like, wait, no, he's actually a winning player. Pascal Siakam was just an energy guy until it's like, wait, no, he's actually this really skilled unicorn type player. And up until recently, Norman Powell was a really streaky, inconsistent bench scorer. In fact, Nick Nurse called him out as being that earlier this season. I know you had Nick on the other day, and and you talked to him about uh, a couple of cases recently where he challenged guys successfully, Chris Boucher the other day, and then Terrence Davis uh, a few months ago. But I think probably the most successful challenge of a player this year has been Norman Powell. It was early November and Norm had just scored two points. I think it was against Portland. He had missed all of his shots and then he scored 26 points the next game and Nick was like, okay, well 26 points is great, but you can't be scoring two points one night and 26 points the next. You need to be more consistent. He told that to Norm. He said that to us. And pretty much since that point, not only has he been great, but he's been consistently great. And I would actually argue, guys, that outside of the two stretches where he missed time due to injury, he's probably been the Raptors' most consistent player since that point in the season, since early November. And who thought we'd ever be saying that about Norman Powell? Well, with that in mind, uh, come playoff time, who do you think will have a bigger impact on playoff success, Norman Powell or, or OG Ananobi? I still think OG Ananobi is the wildest of wild cards for the Raptors. He's the X factor just because of that position. The Raptors don't have a ton of depth at that position, and they really need a guy at that position to step up and to be a significant, consistent factor in the playoffs. I keep going back to the matchup. You might see Boston. They've got Jason Tatum and a ton of long athletic wings. Uh, Philadelphia's got Ben Simmons. Obviously, you could end up facing Milwaukee in the Eastern Conference Finals, and you need somebody to be able to guard Giannis. Kawhi did it so well last year that it turned the series around once they put Kawhi on him as the primary defender in Game 3. OG needs to be that guy. And he's looked like that guy for the last few games. I mean, if if this is where he's trending, if this is where he's trending towards the end of the season into the playoffs, then I think you feel pretty good about the season. It's been an up-and-down one for him. Like, I think a lot of people went into this thing hoping that he'd take that Siakam-level leap, and he hasn't quite done that. But um, what we've seen from him over these last few weeks is one of the reasons, the biggest reason why the Raptors – have been so excited about him, have been so reluctant to include him in trade talks. Guys like that, two-way, athletic, talented wing players are so rare in the NBA right now, and they're so incredibly valuable just based on where the league is is going and the way it's evolving that you need a guy like that. And while Norm is important i think because of this team's weaknesses off the bench they don't have a ton of scoring there and that's why i think they like him in that role i think og is more important and we've seen why now 